It's about time I tell ya. No, I'm not having a kid, and no, I'm not dying. I'm talking about how to become him. Not necessarily him, but how to become the best of yourself, the comp guard. And what I'm saying right now, y'all must think and y'all don't got what it takes, but trust and believe it's not this hard this year. If you a loyal sub and y'all been watching since the beginning, y'all should already know the stuff. Like, I've been, I've been, trust, I've been blessing y'all up with them tips and them tricks on how to get open in this game. And y'all been telling me y'all been practicing, and I, when I be playing against y'all, y'all be telling me them dribble tutorials be really help me out so i decided for today's video it's time to step it up a notch and really put y'all on to something new that boy chance he him he him he ain't even touched the man man oh man i feel like we always start the video off in the mic core if not the mic core we in the stage with it but before we get this video started, I know y'all peep, I'm on a 60 overall build. But this ain't no ordinary 60 overall build, this finna be the best build in the game. Well not the best, the best offensive build in the game. What I mean by that is this build gets the Agent 3's on Hall of Fame. In simpler terms, if you're a 3 point shot creator or just a regular play shot build, this is like the best play shot build you can actually make. You get the best of both sides, you get the unpluckable on Hall of Fame and Age of 3's Hall of Fame with a 96 3 point. The only reason I'm making this build now is because I just want to see like how powerful I would be with a 96 3 and Age of 3's Hall of Fame. And I talked about this in my other videos on my tips, but the only thing I messed up on my other build is having a high speed with ball. In this game, speed with ball means nothing to do with your dribbling. All that matters is if you have a high acceleration, and with this build, I have a high acceleration in my last build, which is a 96 now. So I'm probably just going to give up on my one goal of having all the mascots in the game, but I do have most of them though, as y'all can see. I ended up buying all the good ones, so I didn't buy no trash ones. I'm going to briefly go through this, I don't want to make, make it long, it's a 6'1", 160 pounds, 6'3", wingspan, slight. You can just pause the video and just copy down the attributes, it gets a 16 finishing with limitless takeoff on gold, 27 shooting with Agent 3's Hall of Fame and you get limitless gold. If you want to go one more higher, you can get blindness on Hall of Fame if you really wanted to. And if you're wondering why I have low playmaking, it's because you can just add the badges from the same quest to that side. You get 12 extra badges by the way. Alright, let me help y'all with something. So right here I'm gonna tell y'all or like I'm gonna give y'all like a little like what y'all should be using on the type of player you are. Starting off first, there's no doubt about it, you should not be using anything else except for Michael Jordan dribble style. Steve Francis if you're a small guard. The thing about the size up escape packages, you wanna be using Trey Young, but if you're a standstill dribbler like me, go with Kimball Walker trust me it's way better for your combos but if you're new to dribbling and you're still watching tutorials and all that just use Trey Young it'll be easier for you at first but once you get used to dribbling and placing all that switch to that Kimball Walker but if you're a tall guard automatically use Kimball Walker if you're tall for me for my moving cross I use Jason Tatum just because when I use other crossovers it makes me feel slow when I dribble or I feel more delayed so basically Jason Tatum just makes me feel faster as a player but if you don't believe me, you can test it out yourself. For the rest of the stuff, and behind the back, I use James Harden for this little steezel thing I usually do. And basic spin, everybody uses. Any book can unlock it. Scotty Pippen hesitation. I'm going to show you something glitchy I could do with it. Normal moving step back for the Oscar slide. And then triple threat, Michael Jordan, so you can put the ball up with one hand. Next thing up, it's actually a tip I just found out two days ago. If you know about this, congratulations, but I just found out and I was surprised this was even in the game. Like, so y'all know how y'all usually play a personal workout, right? You just open your phone, invite anybody to your mic court. There's actually a better game mode you can use to get your dribble moves right. But I like literally, I was surprised when this was in the game too. It's free practice and you can actually, it actually feels like you're in a real game. All you have to do is back out that personal workout and invite one more person in your mic court so you can have two people. Once that extra person joins and there's two AIs, click X then scroll down till you see, I think it's called, where is it at? Full, yeah, full court, full court press drill. This, you're the offensive guy and two people trying to guard you on the press. 
The thing about this drill, you can you get all the stamina you want, but you get 24 seconds to score. And once you get up that court, you get double teamed. And it's really hard to score if you put it on Hall of Fame because their defense is actually like that. So if you want to practice, you run up the court and you ask to slide and you want to crab somebody, you can do it in this. Like this is literally what I've been using all day to just get better. And if you just come up a little bit, he'll just run up to you so it could be straight double team. If y'all didn't know that, y'all should hit that sub button because he just by now hit 6k. But let's get into the next tip. Next thing up is actually a dribble move you need to know. If you don't know this move, you're playing at a disadvantage. I call it the fake hezzy. Not only you can fake hezzy, you can kind of stop and shoot the ball at the same time. So it's basically either or. So it's a 2 in 1 move. I'll show y'all what I mean. Okay, I'm finna just look, watch how I dribble into this shot right here. So my opponent's just trying to play for my back, but I'm really just gonna keep running. I stop instantly. You see how I stop and the opponent's like, whoa, is he gonna run back right? And it's the same thing with this clip right here. I'm basically just stopping out of nowhere. I could be running in either direction. I can stop out of nowhere and pull the shot. And what makes this move even greater, you can do this on a 6-8 and a 6-1 build, so height don't matter about it. To perform this move, if the ball's in right here and you're running to the left, just tap Tap L2, let go of R2, and hold R2 again. So basically, while you're running, all you're gonna do is while you, while you let go of R2, that's when you tap L2. So as soon as you let go of R2, tap L2. I'm gonna explain it one more time because I lapped somebody on this move and they was having trouble. While running, just tap L2. All you gotta do is tap it and let go of R2. Once you see your player stop for a little bit, that's when you hold R2 again and keep running the same side. Literally that simple. With the L2 method I just showed you, you can actually stop and shoot too by just tapping L2 and shooting the ball. But only doing when you're just like far away from an opponent and you don't want to fade. My next tip is for y'all dribblers too. So y'all know how y'all got the basic one spin back and y'all usually do it at the mid range. There's actually an easier, not an easier way, but you're going to get open way better. So at the mid range, your opponent has a better time to react to it and he can get back to the three. Y'all gotta stop doing it at the mid range. I'm telling you, this way, you if you run to the paint and do a spin back, the recovery time for the lock that's jumping at that. Cause look, if you're doing it at the paint, the lock is most likely gonna jump cause you think you're gonna put up a two hand dunk. Once he jumps, the center's gonna switch or you can just dot the corner. And if the lock don't jump, you have a free two. I have multiple clips like this. I catch so many people with this basic one spin back. It's been around for years now. And people still can't catch on it. That's how OP it is. I want y'all to watch when I do the spin back. And I tell y'all, it works every time. You see, somebody's going to end up jumping free pass to anybody locker or center. Somebody's going to help you. And that's just for rim running in general. If you rim run a lot, somebody's going to end up helping in the corner. Another thing I can say while playing 2K23, you can play with your own style this year. You don't got to play as everybody else. And you can be trash and you can have your own game style that will be actually unguardable in this game. That's the one thing I can say about 2K23. Like you can use everything they got in this game. Like to, when it comes to spin shots, step back shots, all the fades. Like you can do whatever you want to score this year. Like that's the only thing I like about 2K23. You can get creative to score and trust me it catches everybody off guard another thing i can be i can say like that helped me out too to being able to score the belt score the ball so well is watch how you lock down or anybody who's trying to guard you plays you based on where they stand down on the court you can tell who's a good lock and who's a bad lock or who has no stick and who has stick or who plays for steals and who doesn't play for steals and when i mean steals i mean they go for hella bump steals if they go for bump steals it's free crabs every time like i literally love I love playing locks that love to play my hip because I just do an oscar slide and force them behind me. And some of y'all be forcing your oscar slide so much that the lock plays at every play and he'll get a steal off of that. Just watch where the lockdown plays at. If he's at the three point line on the other side, don't talk or don't not. I'm telling you, do not go for that oscar slide. He's gonna go get, get a rip. And you don't have to go for oscar slides in the middle of the court. You can go for an old one on the left or the right. You can angle it in a way where you can get a free three. You, you just gotta play different. Like, you can't play like everybody else. Just make your own play style. Like, you see this lock, he's trying to go for bump sales and i easily crap more for that the last thing about the oscar slide you can oscar slide in the paint too i see people do this now but it's really an underrated move like you get this incredible i said incredible this crazy speed boost after you oscar slide you can outrun any lockdown or if they play the paint you can oscar slide in the paint and just run out instead of doing the basic one spin back really tough move really easy move to do and it'll catch a lot of people we have sadly made it to that part of the video the end Damn, y'all been showing so much support lately too. It's actually crazy. Like, where are we at? Five point. I think we have five point nine k. 
that's like 800 away from 6k like this is like ridiculous like if you here right now like y'all basically like day ones because like when no soon as the next 2k come out y'all already know how i'm finna get with the tutorials and all that like when it comes to dribbling y'all know who to come to by now but if you new here i'm not saying you have to well if you want to become a day one before the big blow up hit that sub button hit that like button and i'll be sure to drop way more and more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one bye have a beautiful time